Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be all about my current beauty favorites. So I actually did not do a October favorites and I wanted to be sure that I share with you a couple of things that I have been loving. Um, some of these things will be familiar to you if you've watched my most recent haul video. So I just thought I would chime in and let you know what I've been loving. Number one, let's go ahead and mention this little guy. Um, if you saw my most recent haul, I talked about a lotion that I love that I got, um, try on the plane on my way to Australia and went ahead and picked up a purse size version and it is the Cow Shed Cow Pat Moisturizing Hand Cream. This is it here. I love this lotion. Um, there's always some sort of hand cream in my purse because my hands stay dry. Um, please ignore my nails right now. I got them done and used like a Formula X red nail polish and they stained my nails so bad. So I can't decide if I want to paint them again and cover it up, which I think is what I'm going to have to do or to let them just be. We'll see. So anyway, if you see them, ignore them. Thank you so much. Moving on. This cow shed lotion has been lovely because it keeps my hands nice and moisturized in this cold winter season. So there is that. Um, let's make a quick mention of this beauty sponge. This is the Morphe beauty sponge. Now this is a bit of a conundrum because I received this and it's wet. So this is like full size. Um, cause I just washed it. Although some of the stains didn't come out, but anyway, um, I received this in my Morphe me subscription box. So if you are familiar with Morphe, they did recently come out with two beauty sponges. Um, one is shaped like this and one has a weird kind of angular shape. That one is black. The one that's shaped like this is red. So then I got this pink guy <laughs> in my box and I actually like the pink one more than I do the red one. I know that sounds weird, but I do. And so I was like, oh, Morphe is having a 50% off. I think it was Cyber Monday or Black Friday sale. And I'm going to pick up some more sponges because they're like $6.99, but I couldn't find this one. I could only find the red one. I could only find the red one on the website. So I don't know what to do with this information. Um, I'll keep checking, but if you guys have any information below as to how I managed to get a pink one that I'm in love with that I can't seem to replace, let me know. Uh, let's see. So the next product, let, what should we talk about? Let's just keep on the motion of a little bit of skincare, shall we? So this is the Estee Edit Radiance Activator Treat Prep and Glow Situation. <laughs> so this is a primer. Um, it said use morning and night to boost bare skin's inner light, then add more anytime for an instant glow, works alone or lay it over moisturizer or makeup. I use this as a primer. And so after a lighter moisturizer, I go in with this, um, because it does give your skin a little bit of glow, uh, a moderate amount of glow actually. And it just feels really good on the skin. I like this better than the hourglass. Uh, what's it called? Beck Light Filter Primer, maybe is what it's called. Um, that one's super glowy, super, super glowy. This one is not as glowy as that one, but it does give you a little bit of glow, which I like. Um, I just wanted to quickly mention the Hourglass Van Vanishing Foundation Stick. This thing is Gorgina. Now, the only trouble with this one, and I have the shade Golden Almond, is... I still haven't exactly figured out when enough is enough. So it's very easy to go overboard, at least on my skin type with this. So I found that um, when I'm blending it out, it blends out beautifully with a brush, the accompanying brush for this. It blends beautifully. A flat kapuki brush, it blends beautifully. Um, but I happen to like it with a beauty sponge because then that way, if I've gone overboard a little bit, I can write the world because it's easy to do so with this stick foundation but it leaves a beautiful beautiful finish it photographs beautifully um i really 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 like it and we might as well mention this little combo which is just my favorite thing ever the makeup forever water blend foundation oh i love this foundation so much i did a whole review about it and i'll link it down below if you haven't seen it 
This is in the shade Y455 and I absolutely love it. This currently does not match me. But when I got home, I really was missing this foundation. So I went ahead and mixed it with two drops of the Cover FX um, Custom Cover Drops and this is in the shade N N90, which is my perfect tan shade. So two drops of this plus two pumps of this, honey. The finish of these products together is so beautiful. And this is a long lasting formula. So together, oh my God, together is so buttery smooth and soft and pretty. And I just really, 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 oh, I love this combination so, 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 so much. I can't, I can't, it is just great. So that's what I'm gonna say. All right, the next product we should quickly mention, let's just jump into Benefit real, real quick. Um, I picked up, so I had a sample of Roller Lash that I had never used, a little small sample. Um, I was like, you know what? I'm gonna throw this in my bag and I'm gonna try it while I'm on vacation, which is how a lot of these things happen. So I took, if you saw my What's In My Makeup Bag video, I took a ton of products with me. Um, not because I ordinarily wear that make that much makeup, but I ordinarily don't wear a full face every day. I definitely don't wear eye makeup every day. So I'm like, I'm about to be off work for a considerable amount of time. I want to play in makeup while I'm at it. So I took a bunch of stuff so I can play with so many products and I did. I had random blue smoky eyes on Tuesdays. It went down, <laughs> but it was fun. You know, it was fun to like be able to sit and play in it every single day and really just get a host of favorites that were new, newer products to me. And this, this was one of them. So I took with me the sample of Roller Lash and I'd heard people rave about Roller Lash for like forever. And I just dismissed it because I really, I used to wear their real. And then one day I just hated the wand so very much that I couldn't wear it ever again. And so I kind of dismissed mascaras from Benefit after that. And so I was like, well, I'll go ahead and try this. Oh my gosh, I fell in love with Roller Lash. This is such, such a great mascara. If you haven't tried it, I absolutely recommend it. It's amaze balls. Um, along with that, while I was there shopping with my bestie, um, we decided to go to Sephora while we were out there. And she picked up the Precisely My Brow Pencil, um, but she picked up the shade four and I have five. And now I'm wishing I would've got four. Um, so I wanted to try this because again, everybody and their mama raves about how great it is. And I really do like it. Here's the deal. It is very thin and very tiny of a pencil, like the Anastasia pencil. So it's very small. So you can get very precise lines for your brows as you're filling out your brows. But this formula is so creamy in comparison to the Anastasia one. I've become accustomed to having such a heavy hand like I just put a lot of pressure on my Anastasia pencils in order to fill in my brow but you don't have to do this with this pencil and it has a spoolie on the other end just like the Anastasia one but you definitely need way less pressure so I think with that in mind I probably should go to a lighter color because I just can't figure out how not to when I'm doing my brows so that is the Precisely My Brow Pencil from Benefit. I really, really, really like it. And she really likes it too. She got four and she really, really liked it because she didn't want a brow pencil that looked very heavy and looked like you had drawn on your brows. Like she wanted something a little more subtle. So four was perfect for her. So I think I'm gonna pick up four. So that is that. I want to quickly mention the Melt Stack and the Rust, y'all. I took this with me. This is the rust stack. I took it with me, um, obviously, because I love it. And I used it so much while I was there. It was pretty much my go-to everyday palette. This and the Mario palette from Anastasia was all the shadow that I needed. But this one in particular, I could have just taken this one and just did a bunch of like all matte looks. But the Mario palette was a nice accompaniment because it has some shimmer shades in there. But I've talked about this 800 times. Y'all know I love it. Rust Stack from Milk Cosmetics. Get it. Ooh, I think it might be out of stock right now. Apparently they had some break in or something in the warehouse and it was the whole thing. So <laughs> moving on. 
I'm going to briefly mention these last few products because I talked about them in my haul, but just so you know, I'm absolutely loving them. This one I will definitely be brief about because I don't know if you can get your hands on it. The Copper Duo from the Nutcracker Collection at MAC. It has Whisper of Guilt and Pleasure Model is the blush. So gorgeous, love it, wearing it today. Are you blind yet? I'm just saying. We will move on. The next product is this highlight from Ofra. This is in the color Blissful. It's so stinking pretty. And Ofra's highlights have a beautiful um, formulation. So I definitely think, should it come back in stock to check it out? But you can also try, I think Rodeo Drive and Beverly Hills are in the same formulation. So if you like something a little more gold, maybe one of those would be good because this is definitely more peachy gold, which is my favorite kind of highlight. I uh, definitely want to give a lovely shout out to MAC Mineralized Skin Finish in the color Dark Deepest. It's the bronzer I have on today. I may have stuck my whole face in it. I love this bronzer. I mean, I'm really trying to think back to see if there's a bronzer that I love more than this one. That's it there. And I mean, if I put it on my hand, you won't even see it, which is weird. Like it doesn't swatch as beautiful as it does like with a brush on your face. You know what I mean? Um, I mean, I know I've talked about a ton of bronzers here on my channel because I do love bronzers, but I don't know y'all. Right now, this one has my heart. Like I love it, love it, love it. Like maybe I need one just in my bag. But we'll see. I'm definitely more tan than I was before I left. So maybe when I'm not so tan, I won't love it so hard. But oof, right now it is everything, everything, everything. So the last product, oh yeah, look at that. The last product that I wanted to mention is this Huda Beauty, Huda Beauty Lip Contour Set in the color Trendsetter and Bombshell. So it comes in a little package like this and then you push this up and the products are there. And in this contour set, you get a full size lip liner. I can finally throw this box away. I've been waiting to do this video so I can throw the box away. You get a lip liner in the color Trendsetter. And you guys, these lip liners are the most creamy, but will stay put on your face lip liners I've ever had. Like, I love these. This, mm, I don't know. This and the MAC lip liners are giving each other a run because MAC lip liners definitely stay all day, but they're not as creamy as this. So you do have to work at getting them on your lips, but this is gorgeous and it's a beautiful formula. And then you get the colors Trendsetter, which is the matching color to the lip pencil and then you also get bombshell which is a little bit lighter so trendsetter lip liner and the lipstick is what i have on today so this is the lip liner that's trendsetter and the next one is bombshell I don't have bombshell on the way she recommends is you fill in your lips all the way with um lip liner like it shows you there that's how she recommends you use it so lip liner then trendsetter and then bombshell in the middle i've done that a couple times it's okay i prefer just trendsetter by itself like it's my favorite it's what i have on today so it gives you this like peachy kind of nude color which i adore um because i have on so much bronzer and i do have on a bit of a shimmery eye makeup situation that I wanted something a little more nude on the lips. So that was perfect. So yay, we are back, baby. We officially have a favorite video, a favorites video to talk about. So I feel like I'm getting back into the groove of things. Thank you for bearing with me. It's been a young minute <laughs> since I filmed. So this video may be a little bit crazy and all over the place, but definitely very excited um, to film more videos for you guys and to kind of get back on the grind. So I'm pretty happy to be here. Happy to have you here with me. Thank you. Thank you so much as always for checking out my videos. Definitely subscribe if you haven't already and make sure to click that bell so you're notified of every video that I upload. I don't want you to miss anything 
would like, for example, maybe a giveaway coming up soon. So thank you so much for watching. As always, I love you so much. And I'll see you in the next video.